Lastly, taxes. Everybody's favorite topic. <laughs> Nobody likes this stuff. I only talk about it because uh, I have to talk about it because I got to pay it. And I think that uh, if you've ever done anything with uh, cryptocurrency digital assets and uh, you've done any KYC or AML, you know it too. And also, I want to thank the supporters of this video, which is CryptoTrader.tax. Uh, they have been uh, friends of the show for quite some time, and they've actually sponsored this video. So I appreciate it. And let's talk about taxes because this is what is going on. This not just in Kenya, this is going on in South Korea. And guess what's going to happen for the IRS? They're going to transition to enforcement. So real quick, Kenya's planned digital service tax or DST came into effect at the start of 2021. That's right now. Part of the country's 2020 revamp finance act uh, focuses on the digital service markets. E-marketing transactions include crypto payments now attract a 1.5% levy. The new tax policy prescribes a 1.5% tax on the gross transaction value of every crypto sale, which means uh, for everybody outside of Kenya, you're going to have to pay for that. And then inside, it's going to be a different case. However, that's just one of the new tax laws that are coming in effect. And I, I think why this is happening here, also in South Korea, because they're going to have a 20% tax, and also in America, where they're going to just transition going, hey, Bob, uh, you know, there's a question on there that says, did you engage in any, uh, you know, virtual currencies? And you said no. So we're going to write you a letter. They're going to go from that to going, hey, Bob, here's a fine because you lied to us. And that's what's going on in this article. We've covered this a couple of times. And I want to really go over it uh, because it's the same thing. Just know this. You're going to have to pay taxes. And that's the thing. So you really got two options. Uh, well, you got three options. You can evade taxes and go on the run. You and Wesley Snipes have fun with that. Uh, or the second thing is you can pay taxes and you can go through and, and do all the different things with each individual uh, exchange that you've gone through and get all the uh, forms and fill them out and, and convert and all that stuff. Or or you could use CryptoTrader.tax. This is exactly what I use. Everything that I talk about on this show, I use. I used them last year. Between the time that I signed up, or actually the time that I got logged in to actually uh, figure out what the heck I was doing, to send it over to my CPA it was 30 minutes. I saved $16,000 in tax loss harvesting. It was fantastic. And this was, I, I did 2017, 18, and 19 because I had never really done them. So I kind of uh, combined them all together. And it was fantastic. So right now, if you want to use that program like I do, which I will be doing again, uh, there is a link in the description below. It looks like this. Viewers of Dan get 20% off. Also, you can enter to win for a free report, which is a $300 value, which is an unlimited report, which is pretty awesome. So just put uh, first name and last name. They draw it every week. We've already got one from last week, so fantastic. And this is what I recommend and what I use. Also, if you don't want to pay any taxes, kind of, <laughs> you can use a crypto IRA from iTrust. Now, if you got a traditional IRA somewhere else, an old employer plan like a 401k, 403b, military TSB, or a 457, then you can move them over tax and penalty free to a crypto IRA at iTrust. So I have an account there. I've had it now there for oof, eight months or so, six months, eight months, it's been a while. And everything that I put in is going to be tax-free. Now I get tax on the income that I have, but if Bitcoin goes from, you know, when I put it, when I started there like 8,000 and it goes up to, well, it's already at 35,000, I already made some pretty good money. And I don't have to pay the capital gains tax using this program. Again, that link is also in the description. And that is all I really have for today. So look, I know this went a little bit long, but there's a lot of things going on. This is the year. This is the year and just expect massive volatility, but just be prepared that uh, we should hit some all-time highs. Again, not investment advice. It's just what I'm doing, what I think is going to happen. All right. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I will see you on the next one.